wonderful escalator leading to just a gorgeous promise of bewildering magical experience. So many adjectives, those are great. Welcome to Dublin, Ireland. Today we are at the Guinness Storehouse where it is a self-guided tour and you learn all about the creation and history of Guinness beer. I ended up here because, as we often do, we get into an Uber and ask the Uber driver where we should go in that city and that's a great strategy. Those people know the city inside and out and they've probably lived there for much of their lives. So they know their shit and at the same time they also deal with tourists all the time. They drive them everywhere. They know where the tourist hotspots are. That is a good travel strategy. Welcome to the Guinness Storehouse everyone. Very first stop on the Guinness Storehouse tour talks about the ingredients going into the beer. Just in case you didn't know that is water. So they have a waterfall so you can visualize the water that they use. Guinness also claims to use over a hundred thousand tons of barley each year. They say that they buy two-thirds of the total barley grown in Ireland and there's a dude whose job it is just to buy barley. And uh, another visualization but they don't want us to touch it but we do anyways. You wander through this floor and they take you through the whole brewing process. Behind me is what they call a copper and I guess it's where they boil all of the concoction and it say that it holds 172,800 pints of beer in one of these things. The barrel making process is called cooperage and while not terrifically interesting, really pretty display of all of the stuff. They say that based on the size of the cask, it's got a different name and again, not terribly interesting, kind of pretty. What is this? Oh, so it's like artistic. What do you see? Yeah, not wrong. You're an artist. Do you think this is good art? There's an area that talks about all the means of transportation they use to get Guinness around the world. Literally around the world by like 1890. Horses, ships, trains, everything. And as transportation developed in the world, so did their means of carrying beer, so it's kind of funny. I also learned just a second ago that it's possible to get like an audio tour and wear like a headset and walk around, and I didn't know until it was too late. We're at the tasting section of this self-guided tour. I don't drink beer, so we have Coral here who is about to become a beer expert. You're gonna taste these and we're gonna use exceptional adjectives to tell us about it, okay? Okay. There was two rooms. One was big and white and had four vats of vapors where you could smell different things. Stop that. Could you tell the difference in the four vapors? Um, yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> and then we had a second room which was much darker because they wanted you to focus on the taste and dull the rest of your senses, right? So now everyone got one small pint, no, not pint, like this much, Guinness. Shot glass. And lucky you got two. <laughs> yeah. Did you taste all of the flavors as they mentioned this to you? Um, a little bit. I didn't really taste a whole lot of flavors. Did you, you taste now? it at like the end? No, not just. Guinness, good good beer? It's good. Yeah. yeah. Good tour. Free, yeah. free beer, good tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess not free beer because you paid to get in, but there's a whole floor dedicated to the advertising throughout history. So I have a ton of very, very interesting things here. One thing I've learned on this floor is that the people in charge of Guinness's marketing are insane people and none of it makes any sense whatsoever. Random animals doing random things and there's just a pint of Guinness in the shot. That counts as marketing. Welcome to the Guinness Academy where they teach you the perfect pour and you're able to pour yourself a pint of Guinness. Coral's gonna drink mine as always. We are now both certified pros at pouring a pint 
of Guinness. We have certificates to say so, and now we both have a pint that Coral gets to drink. Two for her. Yep, put the certificates down, we got it already. At the very top of the storehouse, there is a place called the Gravity Bar with an incredible, almost 360 degree view of downtown Dublin, which would be incredible. Anytime I've heard someone being here, it's completely full, so maybe get up there, get a picture, and then come downstairs and eat at one of the nice restaurants. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like and subscribe buttons, and stay tuned next Thursday for another video just like it. Of course, you can always follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And while I have you, why not check out last week's video from Belfast at the Titanic Museum, and I find a Canadian bar in Northern Ireland of all places. See you guys next week where my hair probably looks better than this.